Here we're taking a closer look at the <coughs> clinical features of myxi edema coma. All right. So myxi edema coma, we have already established that it is a disease condition due to what reduced levels of what thyroid hormone levels in the body. All right. So here we we'll define it. After defining it, then we still go to talk about what. Uh, the clinical features right because here we're just here for the clinical features right so we will be working with this picture because it has a lot of information they'll be looking at what this slide too. all right so for definition we said that myxi edema coma is like a severe hypothyroidism all right so there's hypothyroidism but when this hypothyroidism have gone crazy that's when we regard to it as what myxi edema coma all right it's will lead to things like what a decreased mental status, hypothermia, and other symptoms related to what slowing of function in multiple organs, right? It's a medical emergency with a high mortality rate. Okay. All right. Most students, most patients that come with this usually die. Do you understand? That's why there's a high mortality rate. So for the definition again, we say that myxedema coma is an extreme or decompensated form of what hypothyroidism. While it is uncommon, it is potentially lethal. That means what? The possibility of this causing a death is very high. All right? All right? So sometimes a patient, a, a patient may, may have what? Normal laboratory values, identical to a normal hypothyroid state. But a stressful event can precipitate the myxedema coma. All right? So here now we'll be looking at the... The sign, the clinical features. I think the clinical features, let's look at this one first before we go back to the picture, right? So there's altered loss of consciousness. That's LOC, all right? And it ranges from drowsiness to the person going into coma, all right? Occasionally, it presents with what prominent psychotic features. Like the patient will not be behaving normally, all right? Not be recognizing people, not be talking normal. If you ask them a question, they throw it the other way, do you understand? There could be focal or generalized seizures, which may occur. Then under the cardiovascular system, you might have things like what exertion deep snare. Like if the patient does any work or does any little stressful stuff, they can now start having what difficulties in breathing. All right. Hypertension is there. Um, low blood pressure, that's about bradycardia non pitting edema all right so the edema you have here where you press it it will not make all those holes like the pitting edema do you understand then really you can have a, con a congestive cardiac failure then pericardial effusion may be present then hypo hypoventilation or hypothermia all right the way they are breathing will reduce the hypothermia is that their body temperature will be less than what 37.5 Looking at this picture now, I think this picture has what? The detailed clinical presentation of myxi edema coma. For the eyebrows, they might be losing the eyebrows. Of course, any condition of the thyroid gland presents with an enlarged thyroid as a garotter. They have to be beating slowly, that's bradycardia. Poor appetite. They won't want to be eating again. You understand? Infertility. And the woman will be having heavy menstruation, that's for the females, right? Carpal tunnel syndrome I come through. Thinning of the hair or hair loss on the hair. Can you see this? Let me show you guys something. Can you see how this patient is losing hair? Can you see the eyebrows? Everything is lost. Do you understand? That's what we just spoke about. Then there will be non pitting edema of the skin. We spoke about that. Then there will be constipation. As you're having poor appetite, the little you eat is still constipated, right? So these are the clinical features of myxi edema coma. And when you're talking about clinical features, it's like you're talking about the signs and symptoms of a disease condition.